guys welcome back to my channel today's video i'm going to be cooking vegetable soup i'm sorry about my voice all of a sudden that's what i coughing the as uh, the jalapeno that i want to use that i cut down it's very spicy and very strong so when i was cutting it and taking out the gut it started like <clears throat> making me choke um so i am going to be cooking vegetable soup we call it guri a lot of cooking vegetable soup and i have to bend because this camera is like not covering my face all the way up so we call it buria laboro, which is like loose vegetable soup. It's very, very loose, not very, very thick. If you're in Nigeria, you know, if you're a you know, <clears throat> you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. So I'm going to get right into it. Just a very simple uh, stew. It has all this orishi orishi in it. You can make this for your family. It's really healthy, very delicious and nutritious for you. So I'm going to get right into it. Okay, you guys, I have my stuff that I'm going to be using here. I have some cherry tomatoes. You can use any kind of tomatoes. I just have this in my fridge and I want to use it up. I have some smoked turkey and I'm going to be using chicken feet as well because my kid loves it. Um, I'm going to be using some bell pepper. And this is about four bell peppers. I already take out all the guts. And this is jalapeno. This is the only spice I'm going to use because it's really spicy. It's even making me choke. I'm going to use one large um, ginger. <coughs> and I'm also going to be using some garlic. I'm going to be using some cooked turkey and fry. It's been cooked and fried. And I'm going to be using some fresh fish as well and this one is a mackerel and i'm also going to be using some crayfish this vegetable soup is something that you can just throw in any meats that you want to use there's no really specific meat it's just stuff that i have in the house i'm also going to be using three large onions this needs lots and lots of onions and these three large onions will be enough um i forgot to mention to you guys i am going to be using baby kale you can use spinach if you want but i have allergy to spinach it makes my stomach run so much but the original soup how to make the stew that i'm making is by using spinach but i'm going to be using baby kill just because like i said it makes my stomach run too much so i don't want to use baby kill uh, sorry i don't want to use spinach i'm going to be going with baby kill i have two organic ones here okay so you guys i am going to be cooking the chicken feet and i just place it in the pot i'm just gonna add a few things i'm adding the chicken powder i just added a little bit i'm gonna be adding onion flakes and i am going to be adding some salt and some thyme so these are the things that i'm going to be using to like season and cook the chicken feet not too much i cook my chicken feet for about 15 minutes yeah i added a little bit of water 15 minutes and nothing more than that and i'm going to be seasoning my uh, fish just with salt now my chicken feet is been cooking so i'm cooking the chicken feet 
and I only cook my chicken feet for 15 minutes. Now my chicken feet is ready. I am gonna take it out. Out. I don't know about you guys, but my kids really love chicken feet. So when I cook this, they're gonna eat that soup no matter what. They will eat it. So that's why I like to use chicken feet once in a while in my soup. Okay, so I have my baby kale here. I am going to be steaming it in an empty pot. There's nothing in this pot, just the pot. And I'm just gonna like let it steam for about, about less than five minutes. I'll be checking it. So because kale is tough than what I need it for, but I need it to be nice and soft to feel like the spinach in it to make it feel like the spinach texture so that's why i am going to steam it first okay i'm gonna check on my spinach it should be ready yes so it's exactly the minute that i steam it for so it's completely ready now sorry my kale not spinach my kale is ready so i'm just taking it out So this is it sorry so this is it it's nice and ready here and i'm gonna set this on the side okay so i'm gonna start cooking the stew i'm gonna start with my palm oil i already shaked it very well so i'm just adding some palm oil i'm gonna let this heat up very well before i add the peppers i'm gonna be throwing this pepper in here so i throw the pepper in here and it's already smelling good i'm just gonna let this cook for about a minute before i add the other um, ingredients so i'm gonna be adding some crayfish and the sauce and you guys saw i used like about a handful of crayfish and i'm gonna be adding some chicken powder maggi some people call it and that's all I'm gonna be using with the, sorry for the seasoning. And I'm gonna let that cook for like five minutes. After five minutes, I open it, I'm giving it a stir. I'm adding my cooked turkey. I'm also gonna be adding the chicken feet. I'll be adding my smoked turkey. I'm not using all the smoked turkey in this container. I'm just gonna use half and keep the rest. And I'm gonna be giving it a good stir. I'm gonna let this cook for about 10 minutes before I open it back. So after 10 minutes, I'm gonna check on it. I'm gonna give it a good stir again and I will add my uh, vegetable the kale so if you have spinach you can go ahead and use spinach it's originally you're supposed to use spinach for this but I have allergies to spinach so I'm using baby kale I already explained that in the beginning and I already steamed the kale you guys saw that so I added this uh, the kale and I'm gonna be giving it a good mix together I'm gonna let that cook for about five minutes and I will add my fish and this is the last meat I'm adding I add the fish of course towards the end because fish doesn't take that long to cook my fish cook for about less than 10 minutes it will be ready so I'm just adding the fish and I will cover it like steam up and cook together
and here we are the stew is completely ready and this is what it looks like this is what it turns out to look like it's so delicious it turns out so well i loved it and yeah we're gonna go eat now thank you guys for watching if you're new here please don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed today's video and thumbs up and let me know in the comment section if you're going to be trying this too i love you guys and i will catch you guys in my next one bye guys